<coughs> Bella Yari Yo, what's up, bees? What's up, brother? Chakika. So, um, vediamo un po', vediamo un po' se c'è qualche italiano che si connette, se no vado direttamente in inglese. Oggi, la puntata di oggi è con uh, Gregory Preston, grande Marco, e con Gregory Preston, un blader di Long Beach, California, e quindi anche lì, anche con lui parleremo di Covid-19, di quello che sta succedendo adesso a Los Angeles, in uh, special modo Long Beach, uh, dei suoi progetti, di Too Easy e di tutto quello che sta cucinando lui in pentola vediamo dovrebbe collegarsi a breve so for the one I've just spoken in Italian um, for people who doesn't speak Italian I'm going to speak in English um, we are going to have Gregory Preston soon we are going to talk about uh, um, COVID-19 and how it affects the um, the lifestyle in Long Beach, um, if he does have any uh, upcoming project, uh, his collaboration with the Demskates and with uh, Derek Anderson and, uh, and so on. So let's wait for, for the guy. Where is he now? If you guys have any question, just uh, write us down here on the comments and um, we are going to answer to you guys. All right, it's not here yet. Am I gonna pop up soon? Marky, what's up, mijo? How are you doing? Hey, Miguel, what's up? When are you coming here in Italy so we can go skate um, those amazing bulls that we have here in Milano? You should come, Miguel, please. I'm gonna take off my sweater because it's pretty hot in here. So let's see, where is the guy? He should be here soon. Ciao Sven, come stai Sven? In Croatia? I heard this morning there was like an earthquake in Zagreb and I'm just asking to Sven, a good friend of mine from Umago, um, a city pretty close to pretty close to, to Zagreb if everything was was um, was fine and because from what I heard from the news, thanks to God there were like no victims, but like uh, all of those lots of uh, buildings and stuff are falling apart and, uh, and stuff like that so I hope everybody's safe and um, I'm going to tell you guys that like here in Italy today was the very first day of um, less deaths in terms of uh, numbers because yesterday we had like uh, 700 plus deaths and today we, thanks to God, which is kind of weird to say, had like 600 deaths, so 100, 140 deaths less than yesterday so it's pretty cool we hopefully it's going to go this curve is going to be, is going to be lower and lower and lower so yeah okay so let's see if gregory is here i can't find him here who's my boy oh there you go there you go it's coming up it's coming here hot Yo! Yo, what's good? What's up, brother? What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What about you? Can you hear me? Wait, hold on. Let me put my headphones on. All right, sure. Dude, look at that sunny weather, man. The Cali sunny weather. Yo, it's weather. like summer out here. What? 
Crazy, crazy, look Same at that. Yeah, boo-hoo. We're out here having a quarantine curve sesh. Damn, this is how we do in LBC, bro. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Hey, two seconds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna shout out my man Angelo. Hey. How you doing? Bees, and he's skating. Yeah, he does. Hey, uh, yeah. Yeah, what's up, Papa? Good, man. How you doing? Fine, fine. Just locked down here since more than two weeks right now. So, kind of crazy. Fucking hell. Uh, Damn, yeah. Damn. Yeah. But what about you? It's just started on there, right? Yeah, man. Like, shit got kind of crazy starting last week. Like, I came into work, and mm-hmm. everyone was just like, yo, it's like the last day at work. Like, everybody just... Start working from home. And I got lucky that I still have my job. I mean, mm-hmm. a lot of people don't. Really? That's, they like, the fired? number one. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people got fired, bro. Like, half no of my way. friends, like, lost their jobs. No yeah. way. I mean, like. Yeah, because, like, if. Yeah, well, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, if, if, if you have, like, like a lot of my homies are working, like, in the entertainment industry or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, if you work somewhere, like, I don't know, like, a stadium or or doing shows or something like that, then, like, everything got canceled for, like, you know, till the end okay, of the year. Yeah. So everyone's just out of work. And I think so far that's, like, the one thing that's, like, hit hardest in Long Beach and L.A. is just, you know, like, no one can work and, and people are still charging rent and shit. It's, like, kind of fucked up. Really? Yeah. Because here, thanks to God, like, uh, the house owner or, like, the... Um, the people who are like renting uh, uh, shops and stuff like that, thanks to God, like they got like yeah. stop things. So like you are not allowed to ask to charge the money for the the people who's like you know into your house, into your shop and stuff like that. So um, and because and also the mm-hmm. government will help you as an employer and stuff like that. So mm. yeah, yeah. Damn. So but like it's it's, it's pretty crazy out here, and uh, it's it's sad to hear that like. Lots of your friends are losing their job. Do you, don't you think that the California state are going to help them somehow? Uh, I mean, at, at this point, it's it's not looking like it. Like, hmm. I I wish that would be the case, but at this point, um, yeah, like we have we haven't seen anything like that yet. But maybe if it gets like, you know. I don't know. Maybe if it gets a little, like, a little more worse, maybe. Like, if it happens to more and more people, then they'll mm-hmm. actually, like, do something about it. But, like, at the time, maybe it's too soon. Cause it's only been, you know, um, since, like, last Monday. It hasn't really been one week before it really, like, everything shut down, shut down. I'd say oh, so. Oh, wow. Damn. I mean, like, here, like, it was one of those things that we were guessing at the beginning of this locking down thing because we were like, how can we arrange the money to pay the, the electrical bill or like the, the, the gas bill or the rent of houses. And then the government like uh-huh. said to everybody, hey, if you are like owning the money from someone, just hold on because we need to, you know, we need to figure out these things. No, nobody will, is going to work. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. But what are you doing mm. for a living? Video making? Yeah, actually, that's, yeah. So I can do that from home, you know? Okay, so you're still editing or um, do some other stuff? Both. Yeah, because, okay. like, filming and editing. So And, and luckily, I can do that from home. Cause a lot of people, cause like, I work for, like, a social studies company mm-hmm. that makes, like, uh, that makes like uh, programs and content for, like, you know, kids to learn, like, okay. history. And, like, uh, anything that has to do with, like, social studies, so that's, like, community or anything like that. So I'll make videos dealing with that. Mm-hmm. And uh, luckily I can do that um, from home. And great. Not, um, uh, great, but great. Still, still some people there had to, had to get fired or at least like taken on leave because, cause, you know, like we actually make physical products like, mm-hmm. like globes and maps. And like they can't have anyone in the warehouse now. So anyone that, that's actually making anything, then, yeah, they lost their job pretty much, at least for the time being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, for example, if you need to go somewhere through the city to shut something, do you need, like, to get a permit from your uh, from your employer to go around with the car? Or, like, it's still cool 
to go around and it's easy to to reach spot to spot or like places to places like for for work yeah for work for work yeah um well you're supposed to get permits but like i i normally don't allegedly <laughs> <laughs> damn. Allegedly. Uh, and then, damn, and then, tell me something about like um, uh, your family. I mean, like, are they like um, locked down in their house, or like, are they able to go around? Or, well, I just went and go pick up medicine for my mom because mm -hmm. she's got like respiratory issues already. Okay. Okay, damn. So she's already sleeping on, like, uh, one of those oxygen tank things. So, you know, for me, I started really taking it serious because, like, mm -hmm. even if I get it and I'm okay, but if I somehow get it to, like, my mom or whatever, like, it'd be, no, like... Dude, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be fucked. That, that's the thing. I mean, like, we, as young guys, like, we can be affected by that, but, like, we can get through... I wouldn't say easily, but, like, it, it could be, like, a heavy flu. But, like, for the older mm. people, like, our parents, it would be, like, a bad issue. So, it's better for us, like, to wash our hands all the time and try to stay, like, a meter away from them, which it sucks. But, like, we do mm. really need to fight uh, this, this, uh, this infection, this virus thing, man. It's pretty, uh, uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, so, what, what about your parents, though? Are you doing the same? Or is it, like, super... Are you able to see them? Or are you no, just staying away? No. I have, last time I saw them, there, it was like a month ago or something like that uh, because we are living in two different cities. I mean, still Milan, but like two different cities. And like, mm -hmm. for example, Santa Ana and, uh, and Long Beach. Okay. Yeah, but then yeah. like uh, uh, right now, since the 8th of March, there were like um, police in the streets that can stop you and they can ask you what you're doing here, why you're here and stuff like that. And so mm -hmm. for, you know, don't have any trouble with them and stuff i prefer to stay and and then also because my parent my father he does have like a lot of problem on his heart so mm -hmm. just to not increase his health situation i decided to, to stay home i would just call them every day tell them if they're okay and stuff like that but uh, mm -hmm. yeah and they're also locked down at home and since the same day probably the 7th of march it was so yeah mm -hmm. so yeah here from from that day everybody was like everything was like shut down and from yesterday night it gets crazier like for example if the, the police cut you in the streets you can mm -hmm. get a ticket from five five thousand euro shit mm -hmm. yeah and uh, like lots of like the like, lot, lots of those um stores that they were open like uh for example those um cigarette stores or like newspaper stores are going mm -hmm. to be closed because of those uh because there are still people getting infected and uh yesterday we had like the the highest like uh number of deaths yeah i we, saw that actually and like luckily which is kind of weird to say uh today we had like less people that like uh, it was like yesterday it was like 740 and today it was like uh, 610 or something like that so mm -hmm. the, the deaths are going down which is mm. cool, but still, it looks like a war zone in here. Uh, mm -hmm. then, I mean, we, I mean, as, as far as, like, things that I've noticed that are different, like, sure, there's no one outside. Like, if you look, hold on, we're in a parking lot now that's usually full. No way. <laughs> and it's completely it's empty. empty. Yeah, so the only thing is with that is, like, there's a lot of people like doing shit that they normally wouldn't do like mm -hmm. like, like like a lot of street racing is going on around here now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um like i guess two nights ago there was like a whole bunch of street racing happening on this street back here and somebody spent out and ran into a car and just like fucked it up like right on the corner what yeah like right over there no way yeah so i mean i noticed that too like a lot of people are like starting to i don't know like, 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 even the grocery store right here that's in front of us, like, people is going in and robbing and shit. It's, like, starting to get almost loot type of shit, at least over here, but not on a big scale, but still, like, happening. But that's, like, the one difference that I can tell is kind of crazy. But it has, like, like the vibes have been weird. A lot of shit's been going on. Mm -hmm. Like, fucking, mm -hmm. I, oh, bro, I got in a fucking fight fucking two days ago. What? <laughs> yeah, that shit was fucking dumb, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
What happened? I'm, I'm over here trying to quarantine and shit. And, um, uh, <laughs> like, I'm trying to just mind my own business. And then, uh, and then, uh, all of a sudden we hear knocks on the door because there's, like, some dude that lives downstairs who's, like, you know, a, a domestic abuser. Uh huh. And the dude, like, I guess. I don't know. Like, I guess they're always fighting, but he's never actually, like, really harmed his wife until now. Like, the, like everyone knocked on, on the door and was like, yo, like, Veronica's down there screaming that she needs help. So I'm like, oh, shit, what the fuck? So we go downstairs, we get her out the house, and, bro, she has, like, a gash, like, from here to what? here. No way. Yeah, just, like, split open. So I saw that shit, and, like, she's, like, the nicest lady, bro. Like, so nice. I saw that. And then and, and then they took her upstairs to like hide her away from dude. And then I was like waiting for dude to come out, bro. I was fucking hot. Like <laughs> You were ready. Yeah, so so he, he came out all crazy in his little pajamas and shit. I was rushing, it was like boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> Gave him a couple. But then the shit got even crazier because he tried he tried to like, you know, I had, had him down. And then he no. tried to reach for my he tried to reach for my legs. And I like what? squished him down, but then we fell on a cactus, bro. Like so like I had fucking cactus stuck all in my arm and shit. No but, way. Yeah, but some of it kind of came out. And then, I had to like I had to take it out. Oh, my goodness! And then what happened? Oh <laughs> uh, well, then his brother came out. Like the whole family lives in the fucking complex. <laughs> Keep in mind, these guys are in their forties. So I'm over here fighting like grown ass men. Oh my goodness, man! <laughs> so <laughs> then his brother came out. And I'm trying to square it with both of them, but then the <laughs> dude that hit his wife ran into the alley. Uh, and then, and then, and then, like, the whole dude's family came out, and, like, I heard the cops coming, and I was like, oh, shit, like, I started thinking about, like, wait, if this family, like, fucking snitches or says some shit, like, I'm not trying to get arrested during this fucking exactly, corona exactly. shit. Exactly, exactly. So I just ran up in the house, turned the lights off, just quarantined the fuck out, like, I wasn't even there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened. Oh, I'm cool, man, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling fucking cactus on my fucking arm. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, that just suck. <laughs> but funny. the good thing is, is I, I went downstairs and like the brother came up to me and like apologized. He was like, yeah, my bad. Oh. You know, like he was like, I didn't know what my brother did and yada yada, and like you know, I know the situation, so that's why I got all crazy. I was like, oh, don't even trip. But then I shook his hand, and then right after, I was like, oh fuck! I shook his hand. I was, I went straight upstairs. I just hand sanitized it real quick. I was like, yeah, I gotta stop <laughs> doing that, dude. I'm like getting way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Like I've been really trying to not like do the handshake thing, but it's so mm -hmm. like muscle memory. Like I don't even think about it sometimes. Yeah, but... yeah, true, true. But good thing that you wash your hand because it, that, that's really like one of those those main things that like we all here in Milan underestimate. We were like, yeah, fuck it. I mean, it's just a flu. Shake hands, high five, hugging some whatever, and then yeah. look at us. I mean. It spreads out like like that, like, like in a second. So good thing that you wash your hand after that. Yeah, damn, yeah, and dude, yeah, it's so sad to see. Cause I mean, fuck, I love Milan, bro. Like, you know, a, a lot of people don't know, but like, I used to work in Milan, like, yeah, like, yeah. like two weeks, two weeks out of the summer every year. So I like I used to be in Milan. With, yeah, exactly. I used to be in Benasco, which is like maybe how how long of a drive south from Milan. Uh, like 30 minutes or something 25 30 minutes. 30 minutes and then i have to i have to say that one to the people watching here one time my man gregory did with like no big wheels no nothing just like anti rocker setup anti rocker setup <laughs> like 30 kilometers ride from where he was dinasco to duomo which is like the main cathedral in milano so for that he's my hero man <laughs> Dude, Mission Impossible. I never heard anybody doing that. You did it, man. man. Yeah, that shit was sketch, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was sketch. Like, you know, as soon as he passed, like, Asago, um, I, like, I, I remember there was, like, some truck stops that had, like, some sketchy-ass dudes that were, like, <laughs> like, there was, like, a little gas station, like, in the middle of nowhere. Like, and as soon as, like, you know, here I come skating by, like, an anti rocket set up, just, like, clunking around and shit. And these dudes, like, what the fuck is this guy doing? You know? <laughs> I had a couple dudes on, yeah, a couple dudes on bikes who were just, like, kind of eyeing me. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm just skating, man. Just on my way. Exactly. I'm on my way, man. On my way. So, like, <laughs> you, you were, like, you grew up in LBC or, like, you grew up in a different city or area of Los Angeles? No, yeah, I grew up in Long Beach. 
which is pretty yeah. close to Compton, right? Yeah, it's literally the the next following city north. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like, is it because from my perspective, since I was a kid, uh, Long Beach, Compton, they were like one of like those cities where all those main West Coast rap are coming from. And like, yeah. from what I know back then, they were like dangerous places. Are are still like dangerous places, or they are fine right now? Um, you know. You know what? That's a good question. I can maybe have Keith answer because, like, to be honest, I'm not even tuned in with the streets like that. Okay. <laughs> hey, Keith. Keith. We can you answer this question? Here. They got a little feature. A little there feature here. Hey, what's up? Keith? Yo. What's hey, up, man? my man? How you doing? Fine. What about you? I'm doing good out here trying to stay safe. You know what I mean? Hey, great, great, awesome. Glad to hear that. I was answering to Greg um, if it's still dangerous to, to live in, a, in a Long Beach and Compton as it was like back in the day or it's, it's okay right now? It's cool, bro. Uh, it's, it's different, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's way safer now. Like, just certain yeah. parts, but in every parts of everywhere, you know, you got fucked up parts. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. for the most part, it's way better. Like, you skate, you you good, you can walk certain streets that you weren't able to be walking around. Like, it's, it's way better now, to be honest. But Cause back, like, then, yeah. cause, cause back then, you weren't able, like, to, to go skate in certain spots because there were, like, the the danger of, like, somebody coming and trying to rob you and stuff like that, or? Um, it still I mean, happen. You, it still can happen, but to the what? most part, it's, it's still... It's chill. It's chill. Mm -hmm. Like, before, like, I felt like it was more, like, gang-affiliated, like, through, through the streets. So no matter what, like, you'll probably get, like, get, like banged on or, like, maybe, like, if somebody just, like, profile you, like, wrong, wrongly profile you just walking down the street. But nowadays, I feel like everybody's more on the go. Like, if you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, more mm -hmm. people are on their own shit. Like, mm -hmm. ain't nobody mm -hmm. worried about the next man or the next person. So it's like... I don't know. It's it's more chill now, like compared, but just still certain areas, or it's it's not good to go around. Yeah. You know I mean? Okay. Like, okay. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Very much for the. For the <laughs> I got <laughs> you. A Long Beach uh, trivia. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Long Beach trivia. Long Beach trivia. Right. That's awesome, man. <laughs> That's my man. So right. <laughs> Just because you introduced that to Keith, tell us something about that Too Easy. Because it's like a fan favorite brand. Uh, everybody loves it. Every, every time oh. you, guys, you guys are making like a, like a dropout with, with some item, like everybody's buying it and everybody's loving it. Tell us something about the, the brand and the idea behind Too Easy. Oh, thanks, man. I mean, honestly, you know, I don't know. I'm glad I don't see it like that. That's crazy to hear. But I appreciate it, dude. No, really, but, really. I, I do think, in my personal opinion, I do think that it's a pretty cool idea. It's super fresh, and I do lo love the graphics and stuff. So, thumbs up for what you're doing. And uh... yeah, I appreciate it, man. Um, I mean, it, honestly, it started as as a joke, like anything else. <laughs> Or and also, at the time, you know, I, I was living in, in Copenhagen, and mm -hmm. and. Uh, You know, do you remember back in the day, we used to always make edits on, like, Vimeo? Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But then Vimeo started charging and shit. And then I'm like, well, where do I put, like, my videos, you know? And then I wasn't really on YouTube at the time. Oh, shit. There's, like, a, fl a plane going right over me. I don't know if it's too Ooh. loud. See? Where's it about? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, I, I didn't have anywhere to put my videos and pretty much putting them on my personal Instagram felt kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Like as, as edits, like it felt like it was becoming like something else. And I had I had that logo since like 2014 or something. I had it for a long no, time. Really? Yeah. I just didn't know what to do with it. Because if you just like put it out then like, what what is that? You know, I don't know. But then it kind of natu happened naturally because I was at a time in Denmark where I didn't have a job and I didn't have like a, a home either at the same time. Wow. So I was like, fuck, like I had nothing to do but skate. 
And then that's kind of how Too Easy was created. It was literally, you know, making shirts to, to literally eat. And mm-hmm. also I was just, um, I was just uh, filming the homies at the same time. And I had a lot of time, like, you know, just to Photoshop shit. Cause I was, <laughs> it was, it, you know, it, it was a winter, like mid winter in Copenhagen. And, um, okay. You know, there's yeah. nothing much to do besides no. working and, and drinking coffees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much so. Yeah, and like, how, how was like the differences between like uh, the the state where like everybody knows it and it's world famous because of the the sunsets and the sun and everything, going to one of the states where like you have like low like darker days for like weeks or months, and it's mm. like mainly known because of his cold and stuff like that, like. Yeah. It, was it like a uh, a crazy like um transfer like going from California to Denmark or um honestly honestly it wasn't not really i mean maybe it was when it came to working a full time job and having to speak danish every day wow did you learn it uh, at work yeah at work i was like pretty fluent cuz i said the same things every day you know <laughs> okay i say hi Yeah, I bought it for Mass International. Yeah, come and fetch it. The van filter putting cash machine. Like, okay, it's like the, so, the same shit. So, like, you know, like, I already have all the answers and all the questions. Ah, perfect, perfect. I mean, that's pretty good. But as far as it, you know, I can't just, like, go into a random uh, conversation all the time. Mm-hmm. But I, I know it, like, quite a bit. I, sort of, sort of. But at the same time, it didn't feel too hard getting used to because I had been going there for a long time anyway you know mm-hmm. and uh i'd say other than work you know the weather didn't bother me too much um i'm not one to care that much about the sun maybe because i'm from here so i i take it for granted you know mm-hmm. okay so to me having a, a sunny a, a cloudy day is like interesting because it looks like this like every day like literally true, true. makes sense yeah yeah So, you know, I don't know. That's me, though. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of people in California don't think that way, though. I'll just throw that out there. I'd say probably 80% don't think that way. That's just me. Well, it's pretty interesting to see that because, I mean, I've been in, like, I, always, I was always, like, kind of scared to go in Copenhagen. And then, luckily, mm. last year, I've been there in July. And I, mm. we had, like, five days of full sunny warm days and like it was the best place I ever been to because the cities has like a, the city has a lot of to offer to you sport wise mm. skating wise like a mm. nightlife it's pretty yeah. it's an impressive city right no it is my favorite place actually like if i can move back like for mm-hmm. sure i would maybe not at this very second but at one point i mean i wouldn't even like doubt it like it's 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 definitely like my home of choice you know what i mean mhm mhm so But, and like did you find any differences between California and Europe in general like uh uh people are like different or they're friendlier uh, I mean I, I can't really say Europe because you know Danes are very different from Italians mm-hmm. you know what I mean yeah, true. so you know you, and you can say that but one, there's like funny things that Americans don't realize that I think are fucking hilarious <laughs> that are the differences like People in Europe really don't like peanut butter and jelly. And out here people love that shit. Dude, yeah, yeah, they love it. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich? It. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I do love it. A, a lot of people like people in Denmark, they they do not fuck with peanut butter and jelly like at all. <laughs> They're like, "Uh, you put the peanut butter and jelly in the fuck?" Yeah, they do not they don't fuck with it at all. <laughs> Dude, in, in Sweden, they eat it with the meatballs, the the jelly. Yeah, like I'd rather put peanut butter on on uh, on jelly than instead of fucking meatballs. You know, that's me. Yeah, know. <laughs> like, true. It sounds weird, right? Like, it sounds super weird, true. And, uh, so, just because I see that like Derek is here, like is there any up and coming project featuring you and Derek on his way? Oh man, like yeah, yeah, um we've been uh Yeah, definitely like the cats out of the box at this point. But but we've been working on his pro skate edit for like eight months or so. Oh my goodness. But man, dude, like okay, let me tell you something about Derek. This guy 
I don't think it's happening like in the history of blading, but like the dude works like six days a week overnight. Like overnight, he's got a kid and a wife, house, and yeah, he'll come out and just like fucking lay down like some crazy ass shit, Man. and then just go back to work at night, like again. What? I'm just like, bro, yeah, yeah. <laughs> six days, he's got one day off. So literally, for the last eight months, we've been skating one one day a month. No way. Damn. And he's but got, I, like, at least, at, at, like, at this point, he's got over 30 clips. Maybe oh somewhere almost. Yeah, somewhere, I'd say 30 plus, to be safe. And we're going to keep filming because his skate got a, how do you say? Uh, because of, you know, yeah, delayed because of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm, it could mm -hmm. be until, I guess, May or June. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. No, I mean, I, I'm, I know, like, uh, it should be something like that because I've talked with uh, with Marco Guillem, which is like the European um, uh, team manager for Razors, and he told mm. me something about it. He told me like they were going to be probably June, like or like like late May or early June or something like that. But maybe uh, because uh, look at right now, like everything is starting to getting close in, in Germany as well. So it's going to uh, postpone everything. So yeah, it's kind of um kind of a crazy situation, but like. I'm so hyped to see that that promo and that uh, that edit because I'm pretty sure that like Derek is going to throw some stuff and uh, uh, down to the earth and it's going to be <laughs> super intense. I would say. Dude, I'm excited too. I'm a bit biased. I mean, like like the dude's one of my favorite skaters, so like Damn. I'm biased, you know. But at the same time, uh, they like the, some of the shit I've seen him do are like like it, it, it's it's funny because he somehow like reinvents himself. Even though he already has done, like, some, like, really unique, crazy shit and, like, hammer shit at the same time. But we got some stuff in here that, like, I've never seen him do. Like, that's for sure. Damn. So, or it was, like, maybe his first time trying something and he made it, like, fucking crazy sick. But you'll see. I mean, there's still some months until it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He just said, like, we'll just keep filming, he said. So. Yeah. Okay. I can't oh, yeah. even see my screen. It's too bright out here. No, no, you're here. Like, he said, we'll just keep filming. So, yeah, we're going to count in on that. Yeah, so, Derek, shout out to Derek. And then, there, there are any, like, um, uh, behind-the-scenes stories during the filming of Independent? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Like, well, for one, I didn't even know I was making the shit. Like, to some <laughs> degree. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, like, John, it was funny. It was, like, one day uh, I got a text from John. He was like, hey, yo, I'm trying to get some clips in the morning, like, early. You trying to, you trying to go out? I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I didn't really know what was going on. Damn. So we went out. And, okay, do you, do you remember? There was, there was three tricks. Um, the very first one was he did, like, a soul. And then he did, like, kind of like a switch royale sets, like, down the bank. Yeah. And he yeah. also did, he did, and he did, like, the switch porn. No, no, no. Switch fish to front uh, to uh, to porn, and then he like one eighty out on like that down rail on the right hand side, and then he also did like that soul to fence bonk into that little uh, that little like uh, it's like a little bank like a narrow bank that went down like next to yeah. a tractor. Or whatever. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. So though that that was like the first day, so we filmed all those, and we got in the car, and you know at the you know I thought it was just for like Instagram or something. He's like, all right. So I just wanted to see if I still got it. And I wanted to see if we can work something now. But um, oh yeah, I'm trying goodness. to make a VOD. So like, I didn't even know. And then he was just like, oh, so what? I want to have this fun, like the 909s. And I was just like, oh, shit. So it was like a little trial, a little trial day. Uh-huh. But that was funny. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, but it was that, that part. Well, for one, every clip of that video was like 8 in the morning to like 10 in the morning. Like... All of no it was, like, really, really, really early. Yeah. Like, early sex? Yeah. Damn. Everything. Because he has to take care of the kids. So I'd wait. I'd be wait. Like, I'd be out partying all night with this guy. <laughs> and then and then I sleep for, like, three hours. And I wake up, and John's like, hey, let's go. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, all right, let's, let's do it. <laughs> but it wasn't hard, though, because, you know, as soon as I got out, like, you know, as soon as you get up, it's like, okay, you know, like, I'm, I'm not tired anymore. And then, yeah, man. Like, he, he also filmed it in... In about two months, only on Saturdays, 
No way. So, yeah, that was also a very so, like, short eight amount of time. in total? Each session, two hours? Damn. Yeah, maybe maybe he did, like, two or three Sundays or so. But also, there was, like, Blading Cup qualifiers in between. We were filming. So, we didn't even get every weekend. And I went back to Denmark. So <laughs> Like a mission. Like, re- yeah, so really, like, he didn't film that much. Like, he got a lot done. And we were barely, like, you know... We did, like, we, like, it wasn't, like, a long project or anything. It was, like, a really short amount of time. Mm-hmm. I do Which, really enjoy but, it, actually, to be honest with you. Ah, uh, thanks, man. I, I, but I, I was yeah. actually... I, I was a bit self-conscious about it because um, I was editing it, like, on the go. Like, on the way to to the premiere. Like, it wasn't done editing, like, at, at all. <laughs> so I finished... I, I put it all together within, like, maybe three and a half, almost four days. Um, Because I was coming from Denmark and had to go fly back to L.A. And then I had to fly to New York for the premiere at the the Bashi Po comp. Uh And uh, and there was, like, a really bad storm. So my flight got canceled, and I was stuck in Chicago for, like, two days. So I actually, I edited it sitting in, like, an empty airport, like, overnight, just, like, you and were then, inspired, uh, and then, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna edit it here. Yeah, so like, I I do wish I had more more time on it to really think, because in a, in a lot of ways it was like a rush project, like, um, but but at the same time, uh, I, I'm like I'm happy the way it came out, considering, mm-hmm. and I think John like really killed it, like considering, like everything that was going on, like he was getting like five clips a day, pretty much. Wow. No, like from from what you can see from the video, like. It looks like that you guys have like filmed, yeah, for two months, but like at least three, four times per per week. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah. there are like a lot of tricks in there, and, uh, mm. and yeah, I mean, considering the fact that, like you you guys filmed it like on we- just weekends, mostly Saturdays in two months, it's like a a really intense, yeah. and pretty cool job. So you guys killed it. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate no, no it. Problem. No problem, no problem. I mean, I'm speaking the truth, and that's my, my personal opinion. So, uh, I mean, mm. to me, it was pretty cool. I do really like it. So, yeah. That's, uh... mm. Hell like, yeah, uh, man. What, what about now with them skates? Like, are you still filming something for, for them or working on something? or? Uh... I mean, if, if there's anything like uh, uh, on the way, just like I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna uh, put anything out of the box. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm just uh, guessing. Well, one thing's for sure, there will be uh, a UK tour edit and also mm-hmm. some some clips from Eindhoven coming out that okay. Mike Torres will be doing, and I just got like B angles for that. Okay. So it's like, it, like it's not my project or anything, but that's like all I can say. I think. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I'm but happy. but I do I do have two other projects that are under wraps that are, that are coming out eventually that I can say. So in total, there's like a lot of fucking shit going on. Dude, man. I'm crumbling right now. Where they are, man? I want to watch them right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go meet up. And uh, film something at some point today, so I still mm-hmm. got to work on it. But it should be one. One of them will be out at least around, I'd say maybe mid-April. So, okay. so, so one will be soon. The other, I'm not sure. The other, maybe the time will change because of the coronavirus deal. Okay. Depending on how long this also takes as well. So true, true, I don't know. true. And what about the, the next like the drop out of clothes from Too Easy? I just saw that you guys have released like a sweater. And like, yeah. is there like anything coming out soon or? Um, is it? Not, not really. I mean, I think, I think. Well, I'll say this. I'll say one of one of the video projects is directly related to something. So something with too easy. That's like pretty big deal for me. So mm-hmm. I think that's where a lot of my focus is going. And um, yeah, I think. Like I like like we haven't like put it out there yet, so I have to keep that under wraps for sure. Okay, great, great. And um, so yeah, I think that uh, that's pretty much it, brother. 
Wait, hold on. Sorry, you kind of broke up. What is it? I, 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 I was saying it like it's pretty much it. I mean, it's already forty minutes we've been talking, so uh, I was like, uh, okay, thanking you Over for uh, for like the, the time you gave me and like for this little chat. I hope you guys are going to stay safe and uh, uh, enjoy your session to the um, to the curb. It's on the curb. Oh, right, wait, 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 wait. I'll get a trick for you before you go. Okay, hey, good, good, good. Let, let me get that fish or something. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little freestyle. Dude, that was, that was hard, man. Like a... Oh, shit. Wait, I'm good. Uh, look at that royal, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn, that's sick. He's got the fish. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn now. Your turn now, Greg. For the fish? Yeah. The All right, phone. fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I can't. Or let oh, me. With the, with the phone in? Oh, with the phone? No, I'll be fucked up. <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try the sweaty. I'll try the sweaty instead. I think All right, Greg, I'll mix it Greg. up. There we go. Hold on. There you go. Go ahead. Hey, maybe get on the side so you can see it. Yeah, I ain't even warm up or nothing. You got it, dog. It's on my... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Damn, bro. Back to back. What? Awesome. Shit. Damn. So, All bro. Right, man. Hey, thank you very much yeah. for your time. Enjoy your session. Stay safe. Make sure to wash your hands and like uh, looking forward to see you soon, Copenhagen or in LDC. All right, player? Hell yeah, likewise, man. Thanks for this, dude. No, thank you. Thank you for your time and enjoy your session. Enjoy your day. Thanks, man. Stay safe. Safe. Bye. Bye.